Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I'm back with another uh, Blu-ray collection update video. Uh, I have five movies here uh, that I'm going to show you uh, in no particular order. Actually, no, that's a lie. They're just in uh, alphabetical order. Uh, I'm going to start uh, with the first movie I picked up probably about a month ago or so. Uh, is uh, Crazy Stupid Love. Uh, this one stars uh, Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, Julianne Moore, Emma Stone, uh, Marissa Tomei, and then Kevin Bacon as well. Uh, this was, uh, I remember when I first saw this, this was actually a movie I, I quite enjoyed. I'm not a big romantic comedy guy by any means, um, but uh, a huge fan of Steve Carell, and I'm a big fan of, uh, actually, I should reverse it, I'm a huge fan of, of Ryan Gosling, I'm a big fan of Steve Carell, uh, Emma Stone as well, um, and uh, I'm whatever with, with Julianne Moore. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a, a romantic comedy, probably close to 10 years ago or so, maybe eight. Uh, and uh, it's it's one that I, I really enjoyed the first time I saw, and I hadn't seen it probably since that first viewing, and then bought it. It was it was in the bargain bin at Best Buy, so I picked it up, and uh, it, it's it's pretty it's aged well. I think this is one that a lot of people from the you know the two thousands or so, uh, maybe late two, early two thousands, I guess you know the, the first decade of the two thousands uh, is one of people's favorite um, romantic comedies, and it's good. Uh, basically, Steve Carell, uh, his wife Julianne Moore wants a divorce, and uh, he's pretty broken up about it. But he he meets Ryan Gosling in a bar, and, and Ryan Gosling kind of um, gives him a makeover, and, and you know tells him, you know, helps him kind of rebound, and it's the trials and tribulations from that. Um, it's good. Uh, Emma Stone and, and Ryan Gosling have really great um, chemistry in, in a movie. I'm going to be showing in a second, uh, kind of shows that even better. Um, but yeah, really good. There's some weird stuff in it though. Uh, one of the plot lines is, is Steve Carell's like underage uh, babysitter is in love with him and sends him nude photos or plans to send him nude photos, which is we which was weird. Then she ends up giving it her. She's probably like a senior in high school, and then sorry, this is spoilers. But then later on, she gives she gives one of the photos to Steve Carell's. 13 year old son to, to, to enjoy. She basically tells him that. Um, it, very weird. Some weird stuff that I didn't pick up on the first time. But it's good nonetheless. It's funny. Uh, and like I said, big fan of Ryan Gosling. So there's that. Uh, next up is uh, a little change of pace from, from Crazy Stupid Love. And I picked up Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, this was one of my favorite movies from 2016. Uh, one of my favorite war movies of all time, period. Uh, stars uh, Andrew Garfield uh, as a. Uh, it's based on a true story. It seems like it's pretty close to, you know, we also we often hear about based on a true story, but it, sometimes it's just the the whole like, you know, the idea of of the plot is just based on a true story. This one seems like it's pretty close to, to what actually happened. Uh, he plays a uh, he plays Desmond Doss. Uh, this he is from the uh, South. I don't know exactly where. Uh, it's probably in the movie, but I can't remember. Uh, he plays uh, someone who enlists in, in the army in World War II, but uh, he is against violence. He doesn't want to hold a gun, so he goes as a medic. And it's just the story of how he saved um, a couple dozen uh, of his of his fellow soldiers uh, in Japan. Uh, extremely violent, extremely uh, just unsettling. I guess would be a word I would use. Uh, it's you know all wars, all war movies. I would say kind of post, um, at least for me, post uh, Saving Private Ryan, where they got ultra real with with the uh, camera effects that are now uh, made available. Uh, this one was was up there, probably even more so than, than Saving Private Ryan, um, but really good. Um, it's one that I was kind of iffy about. I, I didn't really. I'm not a huge Mel Gibson fan, more so for the social stuff than his his talent, but I gave it a shot one night and uh, I loved it and uh, I haven't watched the special features on this one. Uh, it has uh, some deleted scenes, uh, it has a Veterans Day greeting with Mel Gibson, I probably won't watch that one, and then just a making of the movie which I definitely will watch. Um, so yeah, Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, next up is the, the one that I was talking about earlier, I picked up La La Land. Uh, this was easily my favorite movie of 2016, it's probably one of my favorite movies just period. Uh, it's uh, it, it's wonderful. I, I watched it again when it came in the mail about two weeks ago, uh, and it's just as good the first time uh, as the second time as I watched it. You know, the first time. Uh, I love the chemistry between Stone and Gosling. I love the music. I'm not even a big music guy. Um, I, I 
tell people who haven't seen it to give it a shot, and if that's the reply, you know, I'm not a big musical person. It's more of just a, a, a love story with some music. It, the, whole, the whole movie is not sung. There's plenty of just straight acting. Uh, it's, it's very uh, charming. It's very funny. Um, it, it has, uh, you know, it's just worth watching, uh, I guess would be the best way I would say it. Um, definitely, I, I, I thought it should have won Best Picture, uh, Nothing Against Moonlight, which I actually own right behind me, which I loved. But uh, this one for me was my favorite. Uh, like I said, great soundtrack, uh, great performances. Uh, Ryan Gosling plays the piano by himself. Uh, you know, all does all his own piano acting, and there's a really great uh, little mini documentary on here about how he learned to play the music uh, from the movie, which was good. Uh, there's also a good story just about uh, Damien Chazelle, how he kind of came up with the idea, and, and how how long it took him to to get the the. Uh, the capital to make the movie. So a lot of stuff in here, uh, really good, um, really good package. I kind of wish I got that steel book. I think it was from Target, which was white, but uh, I did not, and I just picked up the regular standard with the slip cover. Um, so yeah, La La Land. Uh, next is uh, The Secret Life of Pets. I had been wanting to pick this up for a while, and it dropped to a, a price where I felt comfortable picking it up. I think, I, I think it was like $13 on on um, Amazon where I get most of my movies and uh, yeah it's uh, I, I love this it's one of my one of my favorite movies uh, one of my favorite animated movies I've seen in a while um, really great cast of, of voice actors um, and just about a fun story I'm a huge animal lover and um, you know to, to see what these what the, what the pets do during the day when we're all out was, was, a, was a funny concept it, it wasn't really just about that though it was more of just like an adventure story um, it, it resembled the storyline of Toys or, uh, of Toy Story for for me quite a bit. Kind of, uh, you know, two characters go get lost without spoiling too much, and it's just their journey back home. Um, but yeah, it was good, and I, I haven't watched this one yet. It just came like two days ago. I want to see how it looks on Blu-ray, and uh, it has uh, three mini movies with a bunch of other bonus features. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna check this one out and I'll report back. And then last but not least is another animated film, uh, another one starring uh, animals, and that is Zootopia. I don't believe I showed this one the last, in my last video. If I did, it doesn't matter. Like I say, um, that video doesn't, didn't get many views. So um, go back and check that out if you'd like. And uh, yeah, this was another one that I really enjoyed. Uh, this was from Disney, and I think this one best animated film at the Oscars. Uh, yeah, really good. I'm down for anything that has animals, uh, and this one had a pretty good message as well, which was nice, uh, as most Disney movies do. It wasn't ultra sad, which I think when I showed up a few uh, videos back, I commented on how all Disney and Pixar movies are, are super sad. This one's not, uh, which was nice. It, it, it had its moments, but not to where, you know, you're really, uh, you know, kind of bummed. It was just, it was just a good message, and it's one that I think uh, adults will enjoy as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my haul. Uh, so once again, to recap, these are all the films I, I picked up. And uh, like I said, the, the collection's growing. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.